In the Heart of the Word, Reflections by Father Joseph Mary, SCTJM, on the Daily Readings from the Holy Mass, Tuesday of the 19th week of Ordinary Time, Solemnity of the Assumption of the Blessed Virgin Mary. God bless you, dear family. Today in the Heart of the Word, we celebrate the Solemnity of the Assumption of the Blessed Virgin Mary. Alleluia! The Church in her wisdom provides us with three powerful readings that help us enter into this great mystery. In today's Gospel, we hear from Luke chapter 1, the moment when Our Lady enters the house of Zechariah and Elizabeth and proclaims her Magnificat. That profound prayer, woven like a beautiful tapestry from the threads of sacred scripture, which expressed the truth of her identity as Mother of the Redeemer, Redem Toris Mater. Today, the Church invites us to share in the moment when, at the end of her earthly life, Our Lady is assumed body and soul into heaven and enters the house of the Father proclaiming her greatest Magnificat. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is His name. The first reading, taken from Revelation chapter 12, reveals Our Lady's heavenly mission, which is to lead us to victory in the spiritual battle. How will the victory come? Through Our Lady's maternity in the life of the baptized, giving birth to Christ in us, who conquers the infernal dragon. In the second reading, from 1 Corinthians chapter 15, St. Paul gives us the most complete teaching on the resurrection in the Bible. The Assumption is the resurrection of Our Lady. And on this day, the Church calls us to look toward that moment with joy and hope when we will join her in sharing the victory of Christ over sin and death, when we rise from the dead through her maternal mediation of the power of the Savior of men. My brothers and sisters, the Assumption is a dogmatic solemnity of praise and hope. Today is the day when we proclaim the great Magnificat of the Church. Yes, we live in a very broken world with many difficulties, in a society that is deeply and gravely disoriented. But God is with us, and His victory will come through Mary. This is the Marian era. This time belongs to her because God has entrusted it to her. With St. Maximilian, and St. Louis de Montfort, St. John Paul the Great, and all the Marian saints, let us proclaim, Totus tuus, ego sum, et omnia mea tua sunt, O Maria, I'm totally yours, O Mary, and all that I am, and all that I have is totally yours, because when we belong totally to you, we belong totally to Christ. Alleluia. Let us listen to these words of Mother Adela. The City of the Immaculate is not only a place, before anything else it is a culture of the heart. For the Kingdom of Christ and His Mother are of the heart, and what is engraved in the heart no one and nothing, not even the darkest things, can steal. My brothers and sisters, on this blessed solemnity, we remember 33 years ago today the first ecclesiastical recognition of the servants of the pierced hearts of Jesus and Mary as a new charism for religious life in the Universal Church, in the recognition of Mother Adela as foundress of this new charism. We also give thanks to God for on this day, 38 years ago, Mother made her private vows in a Marian shrine, not understanding what God would do, but simply trusting that she was called to give her life to serve His designs of love through Our Lady. Thank you, dearest Mother. Thank you for allowing your heart to be a living city of the Immaculate in a living Magnificat that has glorified the Lord and touched many hearts. We love you, Mother, all for the heart of Jesus, through the heart of Mary.